August reminds us that the freedom from enslavement which we gained 180 years ago was paid for by the martyrdom of our ancestors. We commemorated on the 1st of August 2018 the 180th anniversary of the emancipation of the Africans from enslavement. When on that day, over 8 to 5,000 Africans were finally freed from the cruel and humane system. We commemorated on the 3rd of August the Essequibo Revolt of 1834, when Africans, mistakenly believing they had been emancipated by the British Parliament, assembled in the churchyard at La Belle Alliance on the Essequibo coast and resisted being forced to work for four more years as a period of apprenticeship. We commemorated this month also the Maroon Rebellion of 1795 on the West Demerara. We assemble here today to remember the martyrdom of over 200 Africans 195 years ago in the Demerara Revolt of 1823. The revolt involving more than 11,000 Africans across more than 55 plantations along the east coast of Demerara was the largest revolt of enslaved Africans in Guyana and was one of the most significant events in the dismantling of the slave mode of production in the Caribbean. The Demerara revolt degenerated into a massacre when the British West India Regiment and other forces deployed, attempted to quell the revolt, opening fire upon a group of 2,000 Africans at Bachelor's Adventure, slaughtering more than 200 of them there in one morning. The rebels were pursued along the east coast of Demerara. They were brought to hasty drumhead trials, most lasting just a few minutes, found guilty on the basis of flimsy evidence and sentenced to be executed. Those sentenced to death were tied to trees and shot immediately. Their corpses were laid side by side on the ground, decapitated, and their heads placed on poles on the public roads in front of the plantations along the East Coast. Other public executions followed the formal court martial in Georgetown on the 25th of August, 1823. Those public executions took place on the militia parade ground, which today is called Independence Park in Cummingsburg. Ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, the Demerara revolt was suppressed, but it ignited the flame of freedom. News of the bloody suppression of the revolt triggered outrage in Britain. The revolt's role in the passage of the Emancipation Act 10 years after in 1833 is undisputed. The Cooperative Republic of Guyana has designated the 20th of August as Demerara Martyrs Day in homage to the victims of the Demerara Revolt. This day and this ceremony remind us that freedom was not an imperial gift, but was won through the sacrifice and the martyrdom of our ancestors. I urge Guyanese to continue to commemorate this event. I urge future generations to remember that freedom was bought at a high price of the martyrdom of hundreds of Africans on the 20th of August, 1823.